Hi there everyone, this is a powered push-pull AND gate uh, made with Technic Lego. Uh, if you've looked at any of my push-pull logic gates in the past, you'll know that they suffer from two big problems. One is uh, inertia, so as soon as you chain uh, two or three gates together, the force required to uh, action and output on the final gate is impossibly high. The other problem they suffer is that um, the distance uh, required for a, a, is one stud for a, a logical one to a logical zeros um, and after a few gates this uh, diminishes so you'll find that at the end your logical one is actually only moving a fraction of a stud length so it's attenuated completely away which is not really any good to anyone so way back when the uh, original push-pull logic gates were slash dotted there are some comments deep down buried in that page suggesting uh, powering it um, so here we are, here, here is a powered uh, AND gate um, and it consists of actually two uh, linear actuators, uh, one here and one there. And um, in the centre there's a, a positive voltage line that uh, goes all the way through underneath to the end where there's a one of those sort of gear switches if you like from, from within the, the Technic system um, and to, to the output. <coughs> So if we, we turn it on, at the moment it's a, at a logical zero, so this takes clockwise and anti-clockwise rotations to drive the uh, actuators uh, up and down. And um, so let's, let's turn it on. So here we've got both of them at logical one, the positive line is going on, and uh, we have an output at the top. Um, and that would then obviously go off and drive in or out a, uh, another logic gate. Um, so you see the, the little switch there is pushed forward. If we um, row reverse the B, so now we are pulling back. If we push it forward, you can see the mechanism going forward. So we get our logical one, and we're obviously rotating some actuator somewhere else upwards. Um, and we reverse that and go back to our logical zero. And again, at some point somewhere along the line, that rotation at the output there will uh, drive another actuator somewhere. Um, and you can see that both are at zero. Um, the switch is down. And we put both of them up to one. The switch begins at one. And of course, we can then. And one off. Make it to the back to the end. It switches the switch back down to zero. So there we have it. This is a powered push pull logic gate. It might not look uh, like a push pull logic gate because it has rotations in its input and output, but the actual logic mechanism is uh, using a, a push pull system. And it's totally powered, so none of those problems I alluded to before are happy days.